All right, so let's talk about this Leonard Williams deal from the Giants to the Seattle Seahawks and why this is a major deal for the Seattle Seahawks and why they were willing to pay a second-round pick and a fifth-round pick for a 29-year-old defensive end who's about to be going into his age 30 season um, who has a massive cap hit, but he's a free agent after this year. So realistically, Seattle told you how they feel about themselves as a team. They view themselves as a contender. And when San Francisco is struggling, they see a window, and they're going to pounce on it. A big issue for Seattle has been third down defense. They've been atrocious this year. They're allowing 45% success rate on third down conversions. That's not good. Like that's, that's how you kill your defense because it wears you out, and that's why they're losing on time of possession and all this stuff. Leonard Williams is the 19th rate um, pressure rate among defensive tackles, where so he's going to come into that D-line and be able to pressure and disrupt the passing attack because that's been a huge issue for them. He's also just a really complete defensive tackle. Like He's, he's something that this team has missed for a long time. They've been trying to fill it. They cannot fill it. So, like, instead of drafting the player, they just went out and got a player who's basically in his prime and has a few-year window left, and they're going to just anchor that defensive line to help the defense out, that which is going to help the back end out so they're not covering for so long, right? So this is kind of a win-win deal where the Giants, I, I think it's a little bit of an overpay because he is older and he has a significant contract, right? But it's only one year, so you move off pay the deal um but the second's more than you want to but you kind of have to do this deal well interestingly enough with the commanders saying they would take a second for someone like montez sweat or chase young that the seahawks decided to address the interior of the d-line and that's because they like the head boy mafe who's top 10 in pressure rate and they really liked their edge rush pressure that they're getting and how those guys are working they just viewed the interior as more as an issue so this is kind of wrapped up why Seattle's making that push. They think they can win the division this year and make a playoff push. So they've hit on the last two draft classes. They've had successful additions where they've kind of retooled the team and they look like a promising young team, right? I think they're the fifth youngest team in the league, if I know that correctly. But <clears throat> this is what you see them doing. They're making this pay because they don't normally go out and do this. You don't see teams, particularly Seattle, spend heavy draft capital because it's burned them in the past where they've done this, right? With so the Percy Harvin deal. <clears throat> And they also did it when they sent a second-round pick for, I can't remember who it was. Uh, this was years ago. The defense tackle that really just burned them and, like, that did not work out. Um, but, yeah, so <clears throat> that's kind of the breakdown on the deal. Um, I'm excited to see how he fits with his D-line. He's a veteran presence. He's going to be a team leader immediately as he steps into this D-line. He's going to anchor. So he's going to play an impactful role and help Seattle make that title push that they want to make this year. So, overall, <clears throat> it helps out Seattle. The Giants, they get younger. You know, you get draft capital. You retool and rebuild that roster, which needs it. So, yeah, win-win. Um, I'm excited to see it. So, yeah, go Seahawks. Well done.